Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you so happen to be new here, my name is Sasha. I do fragrance reviews, a little bit of style and beauty. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is Sasha Nichols Style. I'm extremely excited about today's video because this is my very first collaboration and I am collabing with five other fantastic YouTubers that are very knowledgeable. The first one is Dr. Rose. She has her channel called Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner and she initially is the one that reached out to me about collaborating for boozy, seductive fragrances. Yes, and those are some of my favorite types of fragrances. But I really enjoy watching her channel. She's very knowledgeable. She does a lot of live streams and has different people on there. I love how she has stories to tell. And you should see this woman's collection of perfumes. It puts me to shame. She has so many perfumes. I'm so envious. But definitely check her out. I'm going to put links again in my description box so you can check them out, subscribe to their channels. Another person I'm collaborating with is Lulu. She has a channel called Lulu. She does fragrance, some beauty. She has an, a, an amazing personality. She is a lot of fun to watch. I really enjoy her a lot. And then there is Tonya Felice. Her channel is Tonya Felice. She does fragrance reviews, beauty, and style, and she has such a great style. She's very knowledgeable, also a lot of fun to watch. Then there's Gids from I Am Gids. He is located in the UK. He does fragrance reviews, not only for men, but also for women. He's extremely knowledgeable. I really enjoy watching him. I love his accent. And then lastly is Ruth from All, Ruth All Things Beauty. And she so happens to be a New York State licensed cosmetologist. She's very knowledgeable in skincare, in fragrance. So I really enjoy listening to what she has to say because she is very knowledgeable. Again, the links are going to be in my description box. Check them out. Subscribe to their channels. Guys, let's get right on into this video. I'm going to be sharing with you five perfumes that are boozy and seductive. And these are from my collection and I love them. All right, the first perfume on my list is Replica Jazz Club Eau de Toilette by Mason Margiela. Very simple bottle, really like this. Now it says it's for men, it's a men's fragrance. I'll get into that in a minute. I have my opinion on this one and I think a lot of people will agree with me. But let's talk about this one because when I wear this one, this one reminds me so much like sitting in a deep oversized like velvet chair at some club. It's kind of dim, kind of dark in there. There's jazz music playing. You're getting like wafts of fresh made cocktails and cigar smoke. And there's just something very seductive about this. It's kind of mysterious. I love this and I'm going to talk about the notes in this. When you first spray this, in the top, you're getting some lemon, and that you really pick up on the lemon, and the pink pepper, it gives it a little spiciness. And then there's some neroli oil in here, and that one you really pick up because it is very strong. I would say this is probably the strongest note on the top is the neroli oil. And then when it warms up a little bit, you're getting this rum absolute, and that's where the booziness comes in from this fragrance, and then some vetiver. And then in the base, you've got some tobacco leaf and vanilla bean. Now on me, it does become very masculine. And I say that because the first two hours, it definitely smells like a tobacco, boozy, more leaning on the men's side of it because I think of the vetiver. But what I notice about this is about an hour to two hours after spraying this, it really sweetens up and this is where I think it's a fantastic unisex fragrance. It does, like right now it's very masculine to me, but like I said, after a couple hours, ladies, this is so darn good. I love it. Absolutely love it. Now as far as the performance, it is pretty good. It is an eau de toilette, but because they have some oils in here, it does tend to last a bit longer, I would say, on my skin, about six hours 
a little bit longer on the clothes. It definitely projects. It's definitely going to go past an arm's length. It's one of those fragrances when you walk in a room, it's going to be noticeable. It leaves a very nice sillage. I love the sillage after a couple of hours. It's sweet. It's smoky. It's an all around gorgeous fragrance. All right, next I have, this is a fun one. It's kind of an odd bottle, but this one is called 212 VIP by Carolina Herrera. This is the Eau de Parfum. This is a lot of fun. Now this fragrance kind of is, it's an, actually an exhilarating rum that's been distilled from sugar cane and aged in an oak barrel. It's very sweet, it's woody. It kind of evolves into this extraordinary, exotic and glamorous fragrance, like definitely like a high-end New York club, to go dancing kind of fragrance. It's very seductive. Now when you first spray it, it is very fruity. You're getting some passion fruit, some bergamot. As it starts to warm up, you really pick up on gardenia and then you've got a rum accord in here, which makes this so boozy and so yummy. And then in the base, you have benzoin and musk. And the musk in here makes this a bit creamy. So as it settles on your skin, you're getting this creaminess, this rum is absolutely beautiful. It definitely is seductive and very, very boozy. As far as performance on this one, it is fairly good. I would say on my skin, I've noticed it's about four to six hours. It does last a lot longer on the clothes. So when you're wearing this one, make sure to spray your clothes so the people around you will really get wafts of this. As far as the projection, it is definitely past an arm's length for the first 30 minutes. It does become a little closer to the body, but I wouldn't consider this a skin scent because you're still gonna be able to smell it standing pretty close by, which is nice. And then it's a gorgeous sillage. It's very soft. It's got that, like I said, that booziness to it. A little bit of smokiness, but not so much. I don't think there's any, there's no tobacco in this one. So it's not quite as smoky, but you do pick up on this luscious, delicious rum. All right, next on my list, I love this one. And it's by Christian Dior. It's a Dior Attic. I like this. It is also a very seductive type of fragrance. It's very warm. It's very inviting. I could see this for a night out, a hot date. All right, let's talk about the notes in this one. You're getting mandarin leaf and you're getting this orange blossom in there. So you do pick up a little bit on that orange, but it starts to settle down pretty quickly so that you get to enjoy this jasmine that's in there. And then the base comes out pretty quickly. You're getting a very deep, warm bourbon vanilla. So it makes this very boozy, very intoxicating. It's one of those fragrances that will definitely turn some heads. You'll definitely get men asking you if you want to go dance. I mean, it is definitely an attention getter. It's beautiful. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance on this one. Now, this is an amazing performer. On my skin, easily six to eight hours, if not longer. Great on the clothes, projections past an arm's length. It stays that way, I would say, for the first hour or two. It gets a little closer to the body. Again, not a skin scent. It's one of those ones that if people are standing within your bubble there, they're going to get wafts of this fragrance. It is beautiful, fantastic sillage. It leaves this gorgeous trail. When you walk by someone, they're going to get this, these wafts of this beautiful, boozy vanilla. It almost has like a cinnamony kind of scent to it as well, although there's no cinnamon in this. Really, really nice. Next on my list, and I cannot not have this one on my list. This one is... Donna, Born in Roma by Valentino. And as you can see, I definitely put this one to good use. Love this. This is a sweet, oops, a sweet, boozy, seductive. It's a, a, like a dance of your senses. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. Now, when you first spray it, you're going to get sparkling Italian bergamot. And you really pick up on that. It's beautiful, kind of that limey, citrusy, fresh, burst of a scent. It warms up pretty quickly into the middle, which is the three different uh, types of jasmine. And then in the base, which is my absolute favorite part, you're getting a very dark, opulent bourbon vanilla. And it smells extremely boozy, 
This is also a very long lasting fragrance. I wore it a couple of days ago and I could smell it on myself the next morning when I woke up. It is very long lasting, easily eight hours on my skin, really, really long on the clothes, past an arm's length for the first probably hour, two hours, and then it stays again within your bubble. People are gonna get wafts of this. It's definitely an attention getter. It's fun, it's flirty, love it. And then last on my list, but not least, or actually I should say least, because it's the smallest one I have. It's over like, you know, 150 sprays in this little travel size. I am gonna buy a full bottle. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna splurge and do that in the next month or so. But this is Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford. And this is such an amazing fragrance. I love the vanilla in here, the tobacco. It's definitely reminiscent of an old style English men's club. You can smell the liqueur, the cigar smoke. My dad was the managing director of the Plaza Hotel in New York. And it definitely reminds me of the Oak Bar at the Plaza Hotel. Just a really high end, beautiful type of bar. It's just absolutely an amazing place. It was a lot of fun. Let's talk about the notes in this. Get tobacco leaf right away and I don't I don't smoke but I don't mind the smell of tobacco I don't know what it is I just really enjoy it I like it as it starts to warm up you're getting this beautiful warm vanilla you're getting cocoa in this some tonka bean and some tobacco blossom and then in the base you're getting some dried fruits and some woody notes so it's a very heaty very intense warm, seductive fragrance that you just can't ignore this one. It's beautiful. A lot of people love it and I can see why. I love it. I love it enough to buy an expensive bottle of it soon. But as far as the performance, yes, this is the performer. Easy eight hours on my skin, really, really long on the clothes, past an arm's length. It stays that way for quite a while. And then the sillage, the trail it leaves behind is beautiful. You've got that tobacco in there. You've got this really warm, seductive vanilla, which really makes this fragrance intriguing, alluring. Love it. So there you have my video on my five seductive, boozy fragrances. I hope that you have enjoyed it. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay beautiful inside and out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. See you soon.